Now, what does this shield of protection look like? Well, the best way I can explain it is through some of the science fiction movies, like Star Trek, like Star Wars, where in the battle, they will often have this energy shield, this, this shield of protection that comes over a bubble, if you will. And, you know, the missiles, the fiery darts can hit that bubble and you ping, bounce off and, and you are protected when you have that shield of protection up. The danger comes when that shield comes down and you are vulnerable towards evil. That's when the danger comes about. Now, as a nation edges out God and says, we don't want you here. We don't want you in our schools. We don't want you in our courtrooms. We don't want you in our government. We don't want you in our entertainment. We don't want you in Hollywood. We don't want you in politics. We don't want you anywhere, God. As a nation edges God out, the shield starts to come down. Uh, and evil creeps in. We saw this with 9-11. Pictures. Here's a picture of 19 perpetrators. The face, the face is of evil. Yes, of evil. Now, not all nations have this shield of protection. Voodoo is a religion that originated in Africa. I remember hearing a story about, it was National Geographic, a reporter had gone over to some of the tribesmen in Africa. And he showed the reporter, he said it was a humped up place in the dirt. And he said, over there is my wife. They killed her with those things over there. And it was some old rusty shock absorbers. They had beaten her to death with those rusty shock absorbers. You see, over there, the way they fight, it's, it's hardly tribesmen against tribesmen. What, what they do is they take vengeance. And they take vengeance out on each other with the weaker vessels, women and children. That's how they fight. Okay? When the shield comes down, you are exposed to pure evil. Okay? Now, Isaiah talks about when God takes away the shield from our nation. Let's look at it. Isaiah 1 and verse 2. It says, Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth. For the Lord has spoken, I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. Hmm, who could this be talking about? The ox knows its owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel does not know my people. Does, does not know. My people does not consider. Now, the big mistake that most people make is this. When they think of Israel, they think of, think of that tiny piece of land in the Mideast, on the southeastern eastern shore of the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, that's all they, they think about, just a sliver of land, Israel, and that, they think, okay, it's talking to them. No, 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 no. When the Bible speaks, talks about Israel, it's talking about the 12 tribes of Israel. Most of the 12 tribes of Israel lost their identity. They went out, they were dispersed, they went here, there, and yonder, nations here, nations there, but most of them lost their identity. Now, the reason they lost their identity is because they broke with the Sabbath day. The only identifying sign God ever gave to Israel was the Sabbath day. Most of them broke with the Sabbath, therefore, they have lost their identity. For example, if I say the tribe of Judah, you know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Jews. Now, the Jews, this tribe, Judah, never lost their identity because they never broke with the Sabbath day. The reason we can still identify who the tribe of Judah is and where it's at is because they never broke with the Sabbath day, the identifying sign that God gave to his people. Now, Joseph's two boys, Ephraim and Manasseh, is Great Britain and the United States. And this is critical to understand where America fits in to Bible prophecy. It comes under the heading of the 12 tribes of Israel. You just gotta know which tribe refers to America. The tribe that refers to America is Manasseh. Joseph II boy, Ephraim and Manasseh. Great Britain, United States of America. Most people think all prophecy is about Israel 
is just referring to that tiny little slither of land in the Mideast. Nothing could be further from the truth.